jumps. Or not crew chief jumps, lab rat jumps, Jesus Christ. I can't even English anymore. So, this is what we're going to do. A lot of people have been struggling on lab rats. I saw a recent stream, and nobody should be struggling with lab rats. We did ours earlier, went very fucking smooth. A few days ago, we did lab rats, and I had a no down on it. So, I kind of want to explain. And at least teach those that actually want to learn. My previous video, on the other hand, forgot a jump, which is bad. And I'm kind of want to one-shot this if I can, but that's okay. That's okay if I don't, because with the power of video editing tools, now that I've learned a bit of Sony Vegas, not that hard. Put Team AI off. Uh, this will be private. Normal. Pretend it's death sentence, I know. Just pretend. It's okay. We've done it in the videos. You have three other people to help you out with this. It's okay. Why does that mask keep changing? It's supposed to be IF. Jesus Christ. Anyways, gonna do this with ICTV. Why? Because of the heavy armor restriction? So you guys can actually, you know, even with like the most heaviest armor and some movement speed skills, such as partners in crime, which I will be using, and jokers are good for lab rats, like any other eyes, and parkour, which is mandatory for ICTV setups anyways. So, without further ado, let's go. Dun, 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 dun. So, there are... Uh, I think like five jumps you should know. Four? At least four. At least four. Burst and priority, obviously. Kill whatever comes up forward. It's obviously going to spawn like a cloaker or something. Get one guy to get this in ASAP. Get the sieves down. The sooner you get the sieves down, the less they call the police. You want them down ASAP. And of course, it slows the assault down significantly. So, priority one, get the sieves. Sieves, 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 sieves. Shoot them if you got to, if you don't have enough time to tie them down. Which probably will be the case. See that guy, he was on his phone. They actually do call. Uh, I don't see the last two. I might have missed them. Anyways. Okay, um, so pretend we had a team tying down sieves. Sieves, 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 tied them down. Okay, playing. Perfect timing. Anything past this halfway point, move it to the back. So, Caustic Soda. What I recommend for Caustic Soda and Hydrogen Chloride is to put it into the hidey spot back there, where my hand is basically um, showing in the back. So, anyways. Hydrogen Chloride. Back here, into the hidey spot. The hidey spot is back here. This is where you want to be with your group. All right. I'm gonna grab another Joker. I'm gonna grab another one. Joker A, look me. Muriatic acids are a special bag. Very special bag. Put it. Just throw them. Let the cops take him away. Take the uh, caustic soda, so caustic soda's first, so we're gonna type that. And get these guys. Um, anything up there? So that's a muriatic acid, not a big deal. Sometimes a guy likes to stay up here, just in case. I'm um, at the start of the spawn, which you could do, but the main thing is to put all the hydrogen chlorides and the caustic sodas into the hidey spot. That hidey spot is so important. Throw the muriatic acid bags that way. Once they're past this halfway point, the cops should take them all the way, all the way to the beaker spawn right here, like this guy. Drop, right? That's what you want. Because we will be using this beaker, or whatever the scientific thing of my jigger, to spell it. Now, two jumps here. One, that I showed in my previous vid. You can do it. It's a little safer against a sniper. You jump here, get up. It takes a little longer, and it's a little bit harder. Get up here, and away you go. This is so important to learn, learn it. If you're not learning it, you are not helping your team. And for the first aid kit there. You don't want to be too close to the edge here. Do not be too close to the edge here, because you will get sucked into this handle. You'll never get up, ever, ever, ever. I'm not even going to show it. I don't even care. OK, easy way is what I found later. Going to get this guy. Yeah, if we had teammates, they would be protecting that. Anyways, so easy way. Check for sniper in the back. No sniper, right? Just give it a little jump, nothing. Get a 100% weapon to kill it, whatever. Jump up here. It's really fast. Zoom, 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 zoom. 
Boom. Then you jump here. Now we're in the same spot. This spot is particularly tricky because you gotta jump to the left of this and stay on the side. Exposing, you wiggle your mouse left to right and up you go. That's it. Super easy. Now we're up here. This is so important, never use the goddamn zip lines. Ever. Use the zip line, you are basically freaking throwing. Please. Do not use that zip line. So, Caustic Soda. So, if you have partners in crime and, um, whatchamacallit, uh, parkour, there's another sweet jump. I've shown this in one of my videos. You can actually jump on the top of that. So, you jump on that. Boom. This will give you all the cover just in case you need to rotate for muriatic acid or any bag. So, let's say we gotta get that bag over there. And there you go. Now we got it. Easy peasy. So, I'm just gonna continue the rest with caustic soda bags. I'm gonna continue the rest with the caustic soda bags. Again, practice these jumps. Practice, 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 practice. Uh, I, get, I gotta set a first aid kit just in case I die. Um, get away. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right here. I'll show you why, because you can use this jump later. Um, uh, Jesus, why are they stacking up there? Whatever. But yeah, this way is much faster. You just go up and up and up. Super fast. Boom. Done. Like, compared to this side, much easier. Wiggle your mouse, wiggle your mouse, wiggle your mouse. If you have transporter, where you throw bags better. Um, stand on the edge of this, and if you got caustic soda, line up the light a little bit, you can jump, throw this in. Easy. Practice that, because you can soft lock bags on the ledge there, and you do not want that to happen. But, further to say, there you go. Uh, you can jump over here, go down all the way here. You gotta be careful jumping down these, and away I go. Just putting first aid kits, just then, you know, just in case I screw up the video or whatever. Okay, so again, they drop all the bags over here. Here is safer, because there's more cover than all the way over here where this civvy is, right? You don't want the bags there, please. Protect the bags over here. I've seen so many runs fail because bags are here. You don't want that. Ever. Now I'm missing all these fire grim shots, whatever. But again, if you had one person protecting the bags and one person rushing the bags, um, or two people moving the bags, it's pretty easy to go up here. This jump is good for cover. You can jump backwards, watch your cover, or, you know. It's a little difficult, but you can do it. And there you go. But this way is significantly faster, so you want to use that way. And again, jump to the left, practice, practice, practice. Here we go. If you have transporter, you line this up, and in she goes. You can see it touched the ledge there, but you got to be really precise with this thrower. You could soft lock it. Okay, next one. Enough talking. What do we got? Okay, so Hydrogen Cloid, it's exactly the same. So that is Muriatic Acid. It should be an orange bag. Uh, I want a Joker. Just to keep this heat off of me. Brazilian Stays will be. Hydrogen Cloid. Muriatic Acid, whatever. The cop can move it. Do not care. I'm bad at picking up bags, by the way, chat. Another way to maneuver around two, just to go through this path, is um, through this. Go through underneath this, pretty standard, throw a flashbang. Wait for everything to stun, then you go here, wait for the stun, then you can get on the back of this. And in you go. So that's typically how I move bags back and forth. Go up here, I see one sniper on the map. See, you see that sniper red line? That's the only danger is, is you gotta check. Otherwise, just take them out. Pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff. Go up here, hydrogen chloride. And obviously, it's even easier than caustic soda. Even easier than caustic soda. And I think you can actually throw the bag. I think. I'm actually testing as I'm making a video. Yeah, we do it live, boys. You can actually throw it in while standing on that little bag there. So, this is easily the worst meth map. Yeah, it is, and that's why people need that help. It's very easy once you get two to three people that know what they're doing. 
This guy die. Need to hit him. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. Get him out of here. And up you go. See how fast that is? That's insane. And I think you can actually maybe just throw this up. Okay. I'm gonna have to practice that a bit. But you can throw it mid-jump. I've done that before. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. So, like, if you're mid-jumping, you can actually throw it like that, and in she goes. But I don't think you can actually throw it from standing on this. And if somebody can, they can correct me, but a 20 meter throw? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's not happening. You can do it while standing, or like here, you could just throw it up here so you don't have to get the like the three, the three final jumps or whatever. So I'll do it once more, just to prove. And there you go. Again, transporter. If you don't have transporter, it's simple. Just keep jumping. Now, for the last ingredient. Since we're in fade, you want to do this in fade because then you got all the space and time to run through this. So typically, what I like to do is throw a flashbang, wait for it to bang. Once it bangs, run back here. Crouch jump, shoot anything that isn't banged. Come back here, go underneath, double check everything. Life's good? Okay, life's good. Now, once the cops have moved everything, and if somebody knocked that bag down, or if you don't get lucky, the next jump you should learn is this. It's super simple. Get up on the beaker, and away you go, on here. Easy way, I don't like using the zip line, but you can if you really want to, again, not my thing. Just jump and throw up. If the bags fall down, not a big deal. You don't wanna, um, Throw it too high. Otherwise, obviously, it just goes all the way over. So we'll do that again. And another thing. Let's say if people are spawning there or spawning there. Okay, let's say if there's enemies there. You can actually go on here, and you'll be perfectly fine. Easy, you just simply jump up. Get nice and snugly close. Test, throw a bag. Easy, actually easy. So let's go get that last bag. So we can demonstrate. There we go. And like I said, if you can actually traverse after jumping on there, and we can jump back, which I will show in a bit, just jump up here with a myriad of castle bag, and up she goes. And just be nice and careful. Some of these uh, corners are just really bad. Okay, do I still have my uh, swatties? Okay, this jump is kind of difficult. That's why I put a first aid kit there one here but you can jump on this as a situational practice this one i would only do this enduring fade at all but kudos to jack for finding this one and the other jump but nonetheless you can't get up here on this side it's definitely doable with ictv armor much easier with um suit or lightweight ballistic vest that kind of thing however yeah so as long as you got uh this jump to here good this jump to here good um you master the muriatic acid with the beaker over there Learn a bit of movement, learn a bit of flashbangs. I don't recommend ladders or any of that shit. Um, falling on the towels, again, that doesn't kill you, but I'm not gonna demonstrate because it's a 1% chance of might. Um, learning these two jumps here, getting onto this, and of course, yeah, that's how you do it. So anyways, now we can get rid of this. And of course, I don't have a good gun, so I'm gonna just snipe it. The only thing I could say is just practice, 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 practice. Just do this in normal like what I'm doing now, and trust me, when it comes to shine, believe me, you'll be like top dog in your uh, Lab Rats games. Absolutely, absolutely top dog. And you don't need to throw them all, you just need to bag them, so as you can see, the bag's there, and we can get back up. So if it's in fade, yeah, you can take the zip line. nothing's gonna kill you. That makes sense, but if you're not in fade, just do the same shit. Jump up here. Oh, there's the fade. <laughs> Go figure. And then jump up here. And then get these guys as you're jumping. Again, you can still shoot and jump. I mean, you can all be Mega Mans. There you go. That easy. Um, so, recap. Spawn, tie down the sieves as fast as you can. That gives you more time for the bags. The more sieves you put down, the easier and faster everything will be and they won't trigger a cell phone call, which gives you a good amount of time. But the hydrogen chloride and the caustic soda bags in the hidey spot, um, 
Let the cops take the muriatic acid bags all the way to the back. Let them take it. Maneuver where you need to go during fades and whatnot. Um, and yeah, practice these jumps and you'll be good to go. It's really simple. I know a lot of people struggle. I used to struggle in the past. I used to be trash at this heist, but now it's pretty easy. Another thing to note too is when you're shooting, the top of this is not what you seem. So you gotta go like, see how this guy? Okay, that was a bad example. Maybe because I'm using a sniper. But that guy there, I can't put him on fire at all. I can't put him on fire at all. So the only way is you gotta be higher. There's a little bit of a gap here, so in case things are shooting at you, just be in cover. Just be in cover and wait. Or just bring a sniper like I did. But yeah, um, I hope this helps. Got any questions, let me know. Again, practice. Practice this jump. Practice this jump to here. Practice throwing bags. Practice. That's the only thing I could say. And then you will conquer this heist, I promise you. And I have lots of videos that I've done so.